the whole story of D-Day Dog is really about Jack, who's the main boy character in here, and Emil, who's, whose grave we're, we are at now. And then um, Jack, Jack feels that he doesn't want to place his cross in Emil Torchill's grave, and it troubles him, and sometimes he thinks he wants to, and sometimes he thinks he doesn't. Um, and and at the end of the book, he sort of comes to a conclusion about what, what he's going to do. Um, and I think I should just read it. Jack could tell which grave it was. Four people stood around it, another kneeling. Tortiel was one of the more well-known soldiers buried here. Because of his story, because of Glenn. If graves could be popular, this one was. Jack waited until the people were ready to leave. He didn't want to plant his cross with anyone else around. Well, anyone else except his friends. Lucas and Cassandra stood with him as he waited, saying nothing. When all was clear, Jack walked briskly to the grave and find it had six crosses already planted in its dry soil and flowers and a photograph of Glenn. Jack read, 1441073 Private E.S. Cortiel, Parachute Regiment Air Army Corps, 6th of June 1944, aged 19. Had you known our boy, you would have loved him too. Glenn, his parachute dog, was killed with him. Jack planted his cross, feeling the soil crumble easily as he pushed it into the ground. He wondered if he should say something. He'd seen films where people went to graves and spoke, but he didn't really know what to say. He coughed and stared at the ground, read the inscription at the bottom of the grave again, coughed again. He wanted to speak, just to say something. The graveyard was quiet, with the odd murmur of a voice. Otherwise, there was only the sound of the birds and the wind rustling in the branches and leaves. I'm sorry, Jack said, for blaming you, you know, for Glenn. And I wanted to say thank you, too, for doing what you did, both of you. And that, that's the end of D-Day Dog, where Jack comes to the grave and um, plants his cross and says thank you to, to both of them. And that's kind of the end of the story for Jack nearly. And it, for me as well, it's really important when I'm writing a book about a real person who has given up his life at the age of 19 to try and make the world a better place. Um, I, it's really important for me to come to, to the grave or to go to the places where um, the, the soldier involved was, was involved in, in war. And I think it helps me when I'm writing to write a better book. And, and for me to come and say thank you as well on your behalf.